Welcome back here to Adelante Chicago. One of the many things that makes the city of Chicago so special is its festivals. So it makes total sense for the International Latino Cultural Center to expand its program to include the first ever Chicago Latino Dance Festival. And here to give us all the details on this are Mateo Mokahi. He's a producer of the festival and music series. And Rosita Reagan, she's the executive producer of the Chicago International Congress of Salsa. Welcome to the two of you. Thank you for coming in. This is fun, huh? Yeah. Thank All you right. for having us. Yes, yes, of course. So let's talk about what this is because this will stretch out over the course of several days uh, and yeah. several locations. So I'll let right. you sort of take it away and explain what it is. Sure. So kind of in honor of uh, the Hispanic Heritage Month, mm -hmm. uh, we, we decided to produce this festival during this time period. It's over four different dates, starting on the 17th of September and ending on the 12th of October. Okay. And the idea behind it is you get to sort of stand there and be the audience as this great performances are taking place. Yeah, well, this is a celebration of Latino dance. Um, Chicago's never seen a, a comprehensive mm -hmm. Latino dance festival before. And so this is an opportunity to celebrate the diversity that exists within the Latino community. Okay. So there are groups that are representing uh, North America and Mexico and Central America, the Caribbean, yeah. South America, and All Spain. Right. We're going to talk a little bit more about the specific dances that are going to be a part of this celebration, but hold it there because I want to bring you into the conversation. You actually have been involved in the Salsa Congress, which I know that we've covered before here at WGN, and it's so fun to watch because these guys are incredible. So talk to me about how that gets involved with some of the work that they're doing at the Cultural Center. Well, we were... We were just tremendously excited to be invited by Mateo to be a part of this. And uh, of course, we have a lot of uh, what are social dances. They're cultural, of course, because they're Latin in origin, but they're the social. Look how good these guys are. Look at this. <laughs> this is from one of the other, 2021. I mean, they are amazing. Absolutely. We have over 200 performances over the weekend. Uh -huh. It's a four-night, three-day event. So we have evening shows of the professional dancers, and we have uh, our community pieces in the afternoon, a yeah. matinee show. Uh, so lots of dancing a lot at the going Salsa on. Congress. So I was telling you earlier that I, I love this so much because dance is such an important part of, I know certainly my culture, so many cultures, and it's a way for people to kind of understand where we come from and our roots and kind of stay involved um, in, the, in the environment and in the culture that we live in. So talk to me about how you kind of keep that alive. Well, we think it's dance is two main things for us. Mm -hmm. It's a universal language. It unites cultures and generations. And I think that it is the healthiest thing you can do. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good workout. It is. <laughs> okay. Um, you said you've got lots of different pieces coming into this. So groups yeah. that represent, what, 30-plus countries, um, Caribbean, Latin America. So give me about some specifics. Give me information on some of the specifics that we'll see. Yeah. So, well, first of all, I should let you know that, that we're in four different locations. Mm -hmm. So uh, the first one is going to be the Logan Center. Uh, over at the University of Chicago, that's on the 17th. Right. Um, there we're doing uh, modern dance uh, co with choreographed and companies that are Latino in nature. Um, we've got the Salsa Congress uh, Performing performers. Um, we've got folkloric dance from Mexico. We've got indigenous music. We've got Central American, South American. Mm -hmm. So. Um, the, f the festival uh, celebrates, again, the diversity. So it's, yeah. it's, it's not just folkloric music. We have folkloric music, we have popular dance, and then we have modern. So you'll see everything from Mexican folkloric dance or Puerto Rican folkloric dance uh, uh, to salsa, to samba, mm -hmm. um, to tango. Um, was so, it difficult, though, to pick the groups that would perform? Because, I mean, we've got so much talent throughout Chicago, I mean, throughout the Midwest, and I would imagine it's difficult sometimes to pick the groups that will perform. Well, you'd be surprised at how many groups exist. There are 37 groups that are performing. 36 of them are local, and I can guarantee you that there are a lot of groups that we're not uh, able, we weren't able to fit in, and we're hoping to do that on on the next edition. Okay, I know we talked about this. You need good turnout this year. You need people to sort of be involved because you want to keep this going for years. Absolutely. To come. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's it's a it's a free uh, festival. 
Um, and, and it was part of a project grant with the city of Chicago uh, at the tail end of the, the year of Chicago dance okay. and with the Chicago fo focus. And, and uh, I, I, I knew that it never happened before. Um, and so we wanted to, to celebrate dance, yeah. diversity. We wanted to educate and entertain. And uh, again, four different locations. We're doing the Old Town School of Folk Music on the mm -hmm. 23rd. Uh, we're part of the Chicago World Music Festival. Um, the Subelo stage at, in, in uh, Humboldt Park on the 30th of September. And we're at the Segundo Riz Belvis Cultural Center, it's a Puerto Rican and uh, Afro-Latin mm -hmm. cultural center. Uh, on the west side on the yeah. 12th. And we've got some of the uh, Ruiz Belvis uh, Cultural Center up uh, and we're all familiar with the dance and, and the culture that they promote there. We've done stories on them before here at WGN. So look at yeah, that. Yeah, we're concentrating on Afro-Latin at that organization. Um, uh, more of the folkloric mm -hmm. uh, at the Old Town School of Folk Music, for example. And then yeah. uh, with, the, with the Humboldt Park, that's part of the Chicago World Music Festival as well as the Chicago Latino Dance Festival. So it's, it's music and live.